All right, so we have another top 10 for you guys here today, and I am super excited about this one because this is one of the most stacked positions in the game, the cornerback position. We need these cards to be stacked because of how good the wide receivers are, the other most stacked position inside of the game. So if you guys enjoy the top 10s, if you guys enjoy gameplays, I do gameplays on all of the brand new cards that come out in the game, make sure to hit that like button. And also hit that sub, we are on that road to 20K. We just hit 19K this morning. I appreciate you guys so much. And let's get right into that number 10. Before we get into the video, I just want to let you guys know I can't get into this to show you guys but we all know Dion is number one and he's not going to be at number one in this video because he's simply not eligible to get him right now it's just simply not even possible i know some people actually had a glitch yesterday where you did a certain solo and it got you up to like level 30 and then people grinded from there and i've seen people with dion on twitter but it's just legitimately not possible if, if you did it correctly so i'm not going to include him on this list just letting you guys know for any of you guys watching this right now but anyways now let's get into our number 10. so at number 10 we do have sauce gardner and sauce gardner is one that i see all the time out there he was a card that was free and he's a card that is actually pretty good at the game 88 speed on him which is slowly starting to fall behind we have 92 speed guys in the game we have a lot of 90s a lot of 91s in the game but the reason it's just this list is very top heavy i would say i think from what is it it takes to number seven i'm looking at our list up here number seven is when we start getting into that 90 speed range that's how kind of top heavy it is but when you look at sauce he's still very good because of that height he brings six foot three which is insane he doesn't hit those man or zone but the new strat cards which aren't too or there's a couple new purple ones which are in the 60 to 80k range if you could save up to get those and get that you can get both of these above 90 which is amazing nowadays right if you can get a, a weak zone above 90 that is awesome for us while maintaining a good man coverage as well above 90 it's going to be super easy to get a lot of these lower end corners who are very tall but missing a couple stats to be very relevant in the game just like sauce gardener right here at our number 10 so at number nine we do have justin fields right here and justin fields when you look at him he's almost the exact same card as our guy sauce gardener right there 88 speed on him right he's six foot three he is a much heavier though way heavier which should help a lot in the tackling battles i know even if the tackling i'm telling you guys sometimes even if you have better tackling like sauce could have 20 more tackling than justin fields i feel like weight is a big big deal in this game i really do falling forward helping against big wide receivers like carmichael brandon marshall and those guys weight does matter i would say and when you look at him he does come with 90 zone that's the only reason why i'm putting him above him he does have that better weight and also more zone coverage right there but like i said if you have the strat cards it should be pretty easy to get them both above a 90 and our man and zone i know not everybody has it but i'm telling you guys it's a big investment it's worth it every single penny it'll make cards like justin field and sauce play that much better right here at number eight although we are maintaining the same exact speed as a sauce and justin fields right before him i do like this that this card comes with a base man coverage and zone coverage right there of 90 he also is losing two inches so like i said it's kind of a weird one if you can also get those strat cards to get those guys both above 90 and have that six foot three versus his six foot one i would probably do that but there's also a good thing about McAllister. if you guys do not know if you do power him up he does get minus one ap in that deep out zone ko which is a very solid ability in the game if you run dollar if you run db flyer one of the meta uh defensive plays in the game where it's a cover two it's a very good ability in the game trust me i love it this year i've been using it a lot if you guys can get any sort of use out of it i think McAllister with the cheaper ap is a big deal also having those base 90 man and zone i think i would take him over sauce and our guy justin field on this list so at number seven this is where i told you guys it starts to heat up a lot like we're starting to get into way better corners now shaq griffin an absolute animal in the game an absolute animal i did pick him up I, he doesn't really play like an actual corner role what he does on my team I, if you guys have ever watched any of my gameplay videos i do blitz a lot he blitzes like 90 percent of my plays he'll sometimes be in coverage but i have him there because he is fast i did a set got him back end cat he is six foot which is solid height nothing too small nothing too big it's just there you know six foot it's actually considered small compared to the, the wide receivers we have in the game brandon marshall plax calvin carmichael it's actually considered really small but at the end of the day it's still a card that's going to be fine for you here with 91 zone 90 speed and like i said you can't get this card for free at the end of the battle pass or the end of the, the field pass once you get to part three of most feared but even then if you want to do the set and sell the master after you can get this card nk and he's a guy that will star on a lot of no money spent teams right here but number six we do have champ bailey and champ bailey 
Bailey is very, very similar to our guy, Shaq Griffin, right there. 90 speed, 90 excel, and he has the same exact height, basically, as him. But the thing is, they're kind of flip-flopped. One has better zone, and one has better man. It depends on which one you value more. Do you value the guy with man? Then go Champ Bailey. Do you value the guy with zone? Then go, obvious Shaq Griffin. But when you look at Champ Bailey, too, the reason why I picked the man over him, not because I like man more. He, oh, I can't show it here. But he also does get one AP pick artist, which I do feel like is not a super meta ability in the game, but I do like it a lot this year. You guys know drop balls from the DBs are insane this year. Every DB, they're, they're dropping everything back there. Pick artist. We'll cancel that. It'll help you catch all of them. One AP pick artist on him as well. I feel like that's the kind of if you like I said, if you like the zone guy better, go with the zone guy. But these guys, that's the only thing that kind of pushed me above Shaq Griffin for me on this list. It was that P uh, one AP pick artist. So at number five, we have perhaps the hardest hitting corner in the game, Night Train Lane. I love Night Train Lane in this game. He's been an absolute animal for me. He is obviously a little bit faster. Uh, there's guys that are just faster than him in the the spots above him. I do think speed right now is king. As Like I said, if you're not matching up perfectly in height, I don't think height is that big of a deal right now at corner. I would look for stats. I would look for speed because, like I said, you'll, you'll see, or for example, I just kind of going to throw off a spot later, but Revis Island, right? He is obviously smaller than Night Train Lane. He's faster, has better stats than Night Train Lane. But every wide receiver in this game is six foot five. A six foot one wide receiver versus a five foot 11, no matter what, is going to get dunked on in this game. The ag meta is absolutely insane. I've, I've used both Night Train Lane. I've used the, everybody gets agged. I've used Woolen. Everybody gets agged in this game. So that's why you'll notice that there's going to be a little bit. It's a little bit different than how I've normally done my list. As my mic falls over, I did break my mount. But Night Train Lane, a very good card in the game. I do recommend him to a lot of people that are looking for a corner. He dropped in price recently. And with really good man in zone, I feel like you got to have him on your team. He's a good hitter as well in the box. Good player here. So at number four, we do have Ty Law right here. And Ty Law is a very, very good card in the game. The only negative, like I said, is that height. But the reason why I'm even putting him above a night train lane is like I said, the best wide receivers in the game is a minimum of six foot three, which is DK Metcalf. And then you have Herman Moore, six foot four. We have Brandon Marshall, Plaxico, Calvin Johnson. And then we even got Carmichael at six foot eight, all very tall wide receivers. So even if you have a six foot one guy out there, they're going to get dunked on. So at this point, I'm really just going with guys with really good stats out there. In Ty Law, a very good card in the game. 90 man coverage, 91 zone, really good speed right there at 91. He has really good play rec too. I, like I said, Right now, we have no cornerbacks that can match up. The best one we had was Woolen, and Woolen is one that even gets dunked on every single play at six foot four. It really, I don't even think height truly really matters as much on defense this year as it did in past years because how good the offensive catching is this year. But at the end of the day, Ty Law is definitely a top five corner in this game. But our number three spot, we do have Darrell Revis. And Darrell Revis is an absolute animal in this game. He's the, almost the exact same card right there as our guy, Ty Law. They're like basically the exact same card. I compared them and he has barely minimal plus one stats. He's definitely better when you look at him, but it's like by a slim margin. If Ty Law is much cheaper, I'd go Ty Law at the end of the day. But it, they're... They're so close that you have to go with the card that's just a tiny bit above him on a list like this. But there's not really much to talk about him. We already talked about him. A short corner that's amazing at everything right here in the game. Same play rec. Very good man zone on him. Really good speed, excel, and agility. Just the only negative is 5'11", but like I said earlier, every corner is technically short in this game when we have wide receivers like those guys. At number two, we have Charles Woodson. He was our number one on the last time we did this list, and it was definitely reasonably so. He is an absolute animal in the game. He is still on my team to this day. 91 speed on him, 90 zone, 92 or 92 zone, 90 man coverage. So as long as you're above those 90s, you're looking absolutely beautiful. He has actually the same play rec as Ty Law and Darrell Revis, who are very good cards in the game as well. And the thing that I'm just putting him above them for is that he does have that six foot one height. So he's just a little bit taller than those guys. Like I've been preaching, height really is going to get dunked on no matter what. But it does help, say, if you do get matched up with an actual normal wide receiver like, I don't know, brand new Debo Samuel, Dante Hall. Obviously, height will matter then, but... Like I said, it's a small minority running the chances like that, but I'll still take the taller guys if we do run into those. At number one, we do have Stefan Gilmore, and Stefan Gilmore is a very, very good card in the game. And like I said, I, I would take Dion number one, but we're not even close to there. But for now, Stefan Gilmore, the fastest corner in the game. He has six foot one height, so guys like Woodson and Night Train Light, he's maintaining kind of the tallest on this list, believe, believe it or not, besides like Sauce and Fields that are four speed slower than this card he has a really good play rec above 90 which is insane 
92 man coverage, 91 zone, and then 92 press. The th obviously, a lot of those guys have plus man, or the 90 man and 90 zone. I love that he has that 90 pl uh, play rack, though. Those other guys, all Ty Law, Charles Woodson, and Revis all had an 87. So we're getting a 90 right here with Stephon Gilmore while hitting the top end speed and very good height on him as well. Stephon Gilmore is a very good card in the game, and the card art is definitely top tier right now. Boys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to comment down below which corners are you using right now inside of the game. Personally, me, I'm using Night Train Lane, Woodson. I'm using Shaq Griffin as a Blitzer, and I'm also using Champ Bailey as a Blitzer. So really just Night Train Lane and Champ Bailey at the end of the day. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was a definitely, you know, a hard one to rank. So make sure to smash that like button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, boys.